Good afternoon, lovely Zoe T. Let's see with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today is another fresh little news update for you guys. Some spicy content, some spicy incoming game features hot off the presses. But first, I just want to update you guys on where I'm at during this Egg Hatchathon event. We're currently still sitting on, I think, 12, 12 uh, Wurmple with the hats hatched total so far. 28 kilometers walked this week, a bit of a slack the last few days, not gonna lie, after the Sydney trip, uh, and 58 eggs hatched so far. So, a bit of a yikes there on the results for the hat worms. We've got a few more things incubating, we'll get those popping today as well. I need to get through the last portions of the rocket challenge as well, the quest for the month. But first, some new Pokemon coming to the game. So the first part of our new little update reads that a trade evolution and more is coming to the game. So if you guys have ever played the main series games, you know there are certain Pokemon that only evolve through trade. Things like taking your Machoke to Machamp, uh, they need to be traded to evolve in the main series games. You can't just, you know, level it up to a certain level, uh, your Machoke would just cap out at 100 and not evolve. You would need to trade it to evolve it. And that functionality is sort of coming to Pokemon Go. So it reads here that trading certain Pokemon will result in no candy cost to evolve them. So rather than that Pokemon automatically evolving on trade as what happens with the main series games, you have no control over it. It just forces the evolution. You'll be able to still trade it, you know, have it as a Machoke if you really wanted that or needed that for PvP, for Great League, whatever it might be. Uh, and then when it's time to evolve that one, it'll be zero candy cost to evolve, which is pretty sick. This is going to affect a whole bunch of existing Pokemon in the game. And it says here as well, it'll be affecting new coming incoming Unova Pokemon too. So Pokemon that can gain the benefits at the moment are going to be Kadabra, Machoke, Graveler, Haunter, that's some of the ones listed there. Additionally, if you've received one of these Pokemon in the past, could have been years ago that you've received one of these Pokemon, it will retroactively know that it's been traded and hey, bingo bango, a uh, sweet little discount for you on, on evolving, like zero candies, there you go, evolve it away. This is also going to roll over to include things in the Unova region, including uh, Baldor, Gerda, Carablast, and Shelmet that are now appearing in Pokemon Go. And that should be happening as this video is coming live to you as well. These Pokemon should be appearing as I'm interpreting this now. So this is gonna be a fantastic way to save candy, especially if you are a rural player. If you have someone to trade with, you just need one person to trade with, you can trade, you know, that mid-level Pokemon with your friend, and then having a zero cost to evolve is fantastic especially for certain ones that are you know 100 candy evolution and things like that that is a massive saving but that's not where this new update ends at all so in addition to boulder girder carablast and shelmet we're gonna have a whole bunch of pokemon coming in uh through eggs raids wild a whole bunch of stuff so first of all pokemon appearing in the wild are going to be things like rog and roller timpole uh dwebble pretty cute trubbish carablast joltic shelmet and more so hey I always love an end more. Fingers crossed it is something that's fairly, I don't know, exciting. I really love a Molga. We still haven't seen a Molga. I don't know where my Molga is. Where, where? Where's, where's my Molga? Pokemon coming from eggs are going to include 2k eggs hatching Venipede, which heck yes, I love Scoliopede. He is an absolute legend. Uh, and Dwebble as well from 2k eggs. 5k eggs can have in them Rog and Roller, Timpole, Trubbish, Carablast, Joltic, and Shelmet. And the 10k eggs can have in them Timber, Tit, I can never say this guy's names, <laughs> Teotuga, uh, Archeon, and Axew. So Axew is here, it's finally happening, our big dragon boy for this generation. Uh, mad rip and pour one out to everyone who doesn't have a Gibble yet, and Axew's already coming out. But hey, maybe you'll get lucky and get this bad boy faster. For Pokemon appearing in raids, we're going to be having our Timber appearing also in the one star raids, alongside it being in 10k eggs. And that's kind of it for raids. We're also going to be getting some new regionals as well. So if you guys hadn't had enough of regional Pokemon, they're not going away anytime soon with this whole bunch of new ones. We are going to be seeing North America, South America, and Africa will have Throw, throw uh, which will also be appearing in 10k eggs in those areas, in those regions. Uh, in the wild as well for Europe, Asia, and Australia, we'll be getting Sork, and also in 10k eggs in our area. Honestly, two of my least favorite Pokemon full stop for any generation. I, I have no love for Sork and Throw, so sorry guys. But another regional we'll need to collect nonetheless. We'll have in Southern United States, Mexico, Central America, the Caribbean, and South America, 
Maractus. Maractus is a really cute one. It has a gorgeous shiny as well whenever that one eventually comes out. So Maractus, cute little cactus Pokemon. Egypt and Greece will be getting Sigalyph, which is really cool and really specific. So I guess Greece trip will we'll combine that into the Euro trip that's happening this year sometime, I hope, I guess. And then another Eastern and Western split one, which will be Eastern Hemisphere seeing a red striped form Basculin and the Western Hemisphere having blue striped form Basculin. So this is going to be similar to the Shellos East and West split. So whatever, you know, Shellos you get in your area, if you get East Sea Shellos, you'll be getting the Eastern Hemisphere red striped Basculin and so on. And yeah, so that's, that's, that's literally it for all of what I know that is coming for this new little Unova update that should be happening like now. I believe that should be like literally as this video is happening these things should be appearing in the wild happening in eggs all that jazz so get out there and chase those shadows there should be some new Unova Pokemon to hunt for which is fantastic I like having content in this game that isn't just you know shiny hunting it's good to just have some new stuff to go for to hunt for uh, Arche Archeops Archeops that one is going to be an absolute beast i believe that is going to be like one of our new top tier attackers i'm fairly certain let me look into it i'll put it on screen here if if yes um but as to my knowledge i'm pretty sure this one's going to be a spicy one to get so keep your eyes out for it new things happening in 10ks more than likely uh so was we get sork in australia more than likely uh sork is going to be my new beldum in 10k eggs so yay we'll see how that goes because i know i don't like it so i'm gonna be getting it that's just how it rolls but hey we'll see new things to hatch and if this is if it should all be happening right now new things to hatch during the egg hatchathon a bit of a bit of spice and variety for the last few days of the egg hatchathon event so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below are you looking forward to this little little kind of wave of stuff does the trade incentive incentivize you to do more trades i mean it's literally saving you a hundred bucks of 100 candy a pop for certain evolutions which is pretty good i'm not going to complain about that it's just kind of like a, another little nice nice to have little things sprinkled in there you don't have to do it but it's it's, it's in there also on the news front uh the vulpix quest the alolan vulpix quest the hatch seven eggs to get alolan vulpix uh it turns out it was busted and shiny vulpix could not be coming out of those quests Niantic Help has tweeted about that and they have since removed the quest altogether which is phenomenally frustrating as that was the only quest I was doing unless it was something I could complete immediately and just tick off and do with like one one simple you know you know make two curveball throws whatever done I was exclusively hunting that quest and I know a lot of you guys thought about me you guys tagged me in it when it happened as well being like oh yeah I know you were like doing them you know when you saw them no I was going for literally every single one in the city I we spent the last hour in the Sydney hunt tracking down Vulpix quests that's how much I was doing them that was the only quest I was doing so it is incredibly frustrating to see that all of the eggs that I've had all the incubators I spent were going towards achieving you know here's another Vulpix that you could have had by hatching anyway sort of thing like I yeah it's mm, Mm, yep. Anyway, hopefully they do fix it. Hopefully they put it back in. I would like to see some sort of compensation in some way because I know a lot of you guys have been doing it as well. It makes it really frustrating for me too because I was, you know, hyping up the quest. I was excited for the quest. I was exclusively doing it and telling you guys to do the quest, which is really annoying because I know a lot of you guys have been doing it too. So I don't know if there'll be some sort of, hey, sorry, here's a couple of incubators or if it's just going to be ignored and that kind of thing. So, I mean... I hatched 151 eggs last week. Like, this is before the Wormpool event even started. Like, that's obviously half of that is for the party hat Wormpool and stuff, but it was all for Vulpix. So, you know, is what it is, but yeah. I'm going to try and sneak in one or two Team Go Rocket leaders this afternoon as well to start ticking away on that quest. So, let's see how we go. Let's pop those eggs that we have incubating at the moment. Let's turn this let's turn this ship around let's have some some good good some positive energy in the sesh <laughs> boom sierra done and dusted thank you very much lee my dear let's see how we go first quest ticked off thank you stardust put a should have put a star piece on considering these eggs are gonna go soonish but you know whatever can't tap through this whole thing like you can with raids but that's okay <sighs> Regular Absol. Hello, friend. Add it up. Stack it up. Let's roll.
Okay, our eggs have finally decided to hatch. They've been taking their sweet, sweet time this evening. It's almost dinner time, eggs. Thank you very much. And what are you going to hatch for me, eggs? It's going to be nothing that I can add to this recipe, isn't it? Nothing. I've got a snivy. Get in there. Two sni- Okay, snivies. The other day was the Oshawa party. Today is a uh, double snivy. Okay. Let's see, let's see. I think I've only got two. I've got two more of it. Three snivies. Wow. Such variety. Contain the salt. Contain the, this meal has enough salt in it. We don't need any more from me. Um. Mmm. Yep, expected. I think this is the last one. Okay, it's a worm. We've got the one of the worms. We've got the party hat. Vanilla party hat worm. I think that's all of our, yeah. Yeah. Keep getting 5Ks, man. I just keep getting 5 I just don't, mm -mm -mm. Do not want, do not need. I might um keep my eggs empty until tomorrow when the event is actually starting but you guys are seeing this live so the event should be live now for the fresh eggs oh yeah I'll, I'll spin a bunch of stuff tomorrow no 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 Ooh, bit of a yikes on those ones okay i've already done the tidy up nothing crazy on the go plus or anything like that but we have got two postcards from our lovelies so first of all thank you oh gosh i'm gonna drop that thank you ash ketchup for the cute little togepi postcard this is adorable best wishes for 2020 and a happy pogo year thank you for all you've done so far for the ar community here's a little present from me to you thank you so much ash this is like insanely wholesome oh it has like a little where it was taken on the map this photo was taken in singapore that's so wholesome that's cool thank you man noise and this bad boy Oh, pretty. That's gorgeous. Nice Christmas card here from Drum. Oh, nice. Look at that handwriting. Oh my god. It says, Dear Zoe, Merry Christmas, fellow Pokemon hunter. I thought Pokemon Go was dead until I got back into it earlier this year. And it's so good now. I've been making my own YouTube episodes to help inspire my friends and family to get up and be outside more. Nice. Couldn't believe when I saw you also live in Newcastle <gasps> eh? and make Pokemon Go episodes for YouTube. Uh, I'd love to play Pokemon with you sometime. Absolutely. Let's do it. Fellow Newcastle squad. Heck yes. Let's get in contact. Let's do it. Have a fantastic Christmas and New Year. Cricket. You, I'm going to cover the, the personal dates there. Look at this handwriting though. This is like so neat. Absolutely, friend. Maybe a stop in your insty. And Cricket23 on the YouTube. Legend. It's such a nice card. Thank you as well. So with all of today's affairs being done and dusted What do you guys think of the upcoming wave that's gonna be happening with the new Pokemon that are coming out the new eggs all that jazz Thoughts and feelings on the Vulpix quest being b -b 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 busted Do you reckon I'll fix it? Do you reckon I'll just leave it out? I don't know Let's wait and see But yes, let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below as always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night. Whatever it is going to support you. And I'll catch you guys too many clicks in the next one.